Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy 2021. This is my first video of 2021 and I'm so excited to bring it to you. I just wanted to do something simple today and maybe for those of you that are looking to set up your makeup bag for this upcoming year, maybe this video will help you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to tell you guys what is in my makeup bag. Um, if I'm being honest with you, this is not my makeup bag. This is just a bag that I had that I put the makeup in here that I wanted to share with you guys because my makeup bag is kind of a mess. But um, in any case, so I just wanted to tell you which products that I have in my makeup bag. And when I say makeup bag, I mean like my go-to bag of makeup or my go-to makeup that I use for every day. Or if I were to take a trip, this these are the products that I would bring with me on the trip. So without any further ado, I'm going to let you guys know what's in my makeup bag. So if you want a sneak peek of what we're dealing with here, here is everything inside here. There's lots of fun products and brushes and just this is for a very basic face of makeup, like a very basic, you know, natural kind of smoky eye. Kind of what I have going on now. Um, so this is just, you know, if you want to create the look that I have on my face currently, this is what you will need. So first things first, I will start with the tools, which um, are pretty dirty because I actually used them this morning. So in any case, the first tool is a makeup sponge. This is just a Sephora brand one. Um, to be honest with you, it's kind of falling apart and I need to switch out my makeup sponges. But in any case, I love these. This is actually a very good dupe for like a beauty blender. Um, always make sure you wear it before you apply your makeup it makes your makeup on so much smoother but in any case this is great for I use it for applying foundation and for concealer and then there is the stipple brush which this is another brush that has seen better days if you can see there but um, this also works for applying foundation um, not so much concealer because it's hard to get in there but if you can make it happen make it happen so I do use this for um, helping out with my foundation this is actually from morphe it is the m439 brush and i love this then i have a kabuki brush from becca um, i love this for applying you know setting powder um, which is just super great then i have this brush which is i use this for blush and highlighter um, this is from Eco Tools, actually. This is actually a really good brush and it's very cheap. So if you are looking for some new brushes on a budget, Eco Tools is actually a really good brand. And then I just have some basic eyeshadow brushes. I have, these are all from Morphe. There is the M330, the M433, and the M167 here. So here they are here. These are good for, you know, packing um, eyeshadow onto your eyelid. It is good for blending. I love these three brushes. These are my go-to brushes. I actually have a lot more eyeshadow brushes that I use, but if I were to go on a trip or go out, I need to bring a makeup bag with me. These are the three that I would absolutely make sure were in my bag. So next is primer, and I actually started using this recently and I absolutely love it. So this has automatically been put into my makeup bag for, you know, my go-to. And it is the Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer from Elemis. Uh, uh, yeah, Elemis, I guess is how you pronounce it. I actually got this in a recent BoxyCharm box. So if you have watched my unboxing BoxyCharm videos, you will notice that this is one of the products from the December box, I think it was. I absolutely love this. Not only is it a primer, but um, it makes your face like so glowy. It's kind of like a highlight primer. I don't really know. Well, it does say glow, but you are so glowing afterwards and a very little bit of this goes a very long way. So make sure that you don't overdo it on your face because a little goes a long way. Then next for foundation is the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation, which as you can see, I am almost out of here. I absolutely love this foundation. It is my tried and true foundation. I use this all the time. There are a few other foundations out there that I really like, but this is just, if I were to go away, this is my trusty foundation that I would bring with me. Um, this is actually the shade 3.5. This is actually my summer shade. My winter shade is in the bathroom. And why I say that is because this oxidizes and when it oxidizes on your face it ends up being like a shade or two darker so if you are going to purchase this make sure you go a shade or two lighter than you think because it will 
get darker on your face. And next, of course, is concealer. And I have the Conceal and Define Infinite Longwear Concealer from Makeup Revolution. If you can see that, if it focuses, the bottle is kind of like shimmery, so it's hard to focus. But in any case, I love this concealer. I would compare this to Shape Tape, which if you have been following me for a while, you know I love Shape Tape. But this is so good and it is so budget friendly. So if you are not trying to spend a whole bunch of money on concealer, I definitely recommend this concealer. It is so great. I absolutely love it. So next, for eyeshadow, of all the eyeshadow palettes in the world that I could bring with me, I am typically a neutral person, so I go for the Going Coconuts palette from ColourPop. Um, it is a nine pan palette. Here it is here, if it will focus. The lighting's kind of, there we go. So it has every color that you could possibly need for a nice neutral look. Um, it's got shimmers, it's got matte, they blend so nicely, they are so creamy, they are just such great eyeshadows and I know that if I were going on a trip and needed to put on some nice makeup for dinner or whatever it may be that I need nice makeup for, I know I can trust this palette to give me a nice neutral kind of like chill out look. Then for eyeliner, while I absolutely love my Kat Von D ink liner, another eyeliner that I trust to bring with me on, you know, if I were going on a trip or just to have in my makeup bag, is the eyeliner from Makeup Revolution. Here it is here. I absolutely love this eyeliner. Um, when I first saw the applicator, which I will show you, here it is. When I first saw this applicator, I gotta admit that I was pretty nervous and definitely thought that I would be messing it up. It actually goes on very nicely. It has such a precise point that it makes your eyeliner look nice and crisp. I really love it and again, it is very budget friendly so I highly recommend this eyeliner. And then for mascara, I've been switching it up lately and I've been using the Kush Waterproof Mascara from Milk Makeup as you can see here. And when I tell you that this packaging is high quality, like listen to this. Like, that is full on like metal. I don't even know what this is made out of. But aside from the packaging, which is phenomenal, the mascara is also super great. I'm not typically into waterproof mascaras because when I take it off, it like rips my eyelashes out and it just leaves a whole mess. But this is actually really gentle on my eyelashes. And when it is time to remove it, it isn't harsh or like a total pain to remove. So I really, really like this. Next for blush is this palette that I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm probably gonna butcher the name because it's the only product I have from this brand. I got it in a BoxyCharm box, I think back in November, but in any case, I absolutely love this palette and I really wanna try out more products from this brand. But anyway, it is Ace Beauty, Beaut, I don't really know, but it is the Blushed in Paradise palette. It has a bunch of shades of blushes in here, literally a shade for every taste. If you want something light, there is a light shade. If you are looking for something deep and dark, there is this darker shade here but all the shades in this are so nice they're so creamy they look so nice on your skin and I just really love this blush palette so next for highlighter is one of my favorite highlighters of all time and it is the ColourPop guilty pleasure super shock cheek if you can see it through the lid here it is here it's hard to kind of see here but this is literally I kid you not the creamiest highlighter that I've ever used on my time here on earth it is so great i absolutely love it it is such a nice shade it's not too dark it's not too in your face it's not gonna make you look sweaty and when i tell you that it is like so creamy honestly you might just have to use your fingers to apply it because sometimes brushes just don't pick it up because of that's how creamy it is but i really love that and i just think it's such a great product and i you know swear by ColourPop products so highly recommend this and then for setting powder is one of my newer setting powders that I absolutely adore and I've been using it all the time and it is from another BoxyTar box that I got and it is the Ofra uh, Banana Powder, if you can see that here. And when I tell you banana powder, it literally is yellow like a banana and it smells like a banana too. It's amazing. To be honest with you, I was nervous when I first saw how yellow it was because I was like, this is going to make me look yellow and just not good. But it actually doesn't look too yellow on my skin and I really love it. And like I said, it smells like banana, so that's amazing. This is the first time I've tried an Ofra product and I had been dying to try something from Ofra and I can tell you that I was super impressed. I was not let down. All my expectations were met. 
I really love this and it is a great setting powder. And then for lips, I've got two options here depending on the kind of vibe you're going for. If you are kind of going for a neutral, like toned down, not too much makeup on your face look, I've got the Plump Pout Clear Gloss from Pop Beauty. Here it is here. It's probably going to be hard to focus because it is clear. Um, but I absolutely love this. I actually have it on now. You can't really tell which is good. I don't want you to be able to tell. But I really love this gloss. It is so great absolutely adore it and then if you are going for a color or a shade I have the pixie and Miriam maquillage collab here and this is the shade posh nude I absolutely love this shade it is a nice deep nude shade it looks really nice on and I love their um, formulas for their lip products and then lastly, because you know you can't walk away without setting your face, I've got some Makeup Magnet Mists from Pop Beauty. I love this setting spray. It is so great. It, you know, it has a nice spray if I, I don't even know how to describe it. But like it comes out nicely. Not that you could see that in the screen. Don't know why I even did that. But anyway, I really like this. It keeps your makeup on and in place and it doesn't leave you with like, sometimes I've had tried um, setting sprays where I've sprayed them on and then the droplets from the spray has actually messed up my makeup and that hasn't happened with this because it's not too much of like a fire hose applying to your face which I don't like. I've actually had setting sprays that have done that but this one doesn't do that. It has a nice like soft spray, keeps your makeup in place. Um, this one I don't think it really has a fragrance to it, which is good. I don't really like a fragrance with my setting spray. But in any case, I really like this. Highly recommend, and it is budget-friendly. So those are all the products in my makeup bag. Thank you guys for letting me share them with you, and I hope that this helps you to be able to put together your own makeup bag. Like I said, a lot of these products, well, not a lot of all of these products, are my tried and true. I would trust them with my life if, you know, I woke up on a stranded island and only had this bag of makeup and you know Justin Timberlake was coming to visit me on that island and I had to look nice. I would trust these products with that situation. But in any case, a lot of these products are actually very budget friendly. Um, I will make sure that I link all of the products in the blog post, which I will leave a link to in the description down below. And if there are any other products that like you have in your makeup bag that you swear by, that you absolutely love, please let me know. I'd love to hear what is in your makeup bag, so please just leave a comment and let me know. And if you like today's video, make sure you hit the red button down below, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell next to it to be notified whenever I post. And if you don't already do so, make sure you follow me on social media at Free Cutter. And until next time, see you guys.